Evening there dudes, Alex Forrest here vlogging from Warsaw on Valentine's night. Yes, here I am, decorated with little pink love hearts, glittery love hearts, plenty of candles in this restaurant, flowers. It's a sad day because I am sitting here alone in front of my video camera. It's not actually all that sad day in retrospect because I went out with a buddy this afternoon. Uh, it's a good today game on Valentine's Day because, you know, if it's a single girl, she's probably lonely without a Valentine. And I did go out this afternoon and had a real, real blinder. I actually approached a Ukrainian girl in a shopping centre and uh, sometimes the day game gods are there and you just hit your mark almost straight away. And I would say that within 90 seconds, two minutes, I was actually uh, had, she let me, wasn't, wasn't the salt, was pulling her hair back like that and feeling her ears, both sides, and she was turning her head like that. She was sat down in a little stool on a first floor of a shopping centre. She's like, had this mustard top with a necklace, nice dark brunette, nice tight jeans, lovely figure. And uh, I was with a buddy and I just ran over and I, I, I kneeled down and, you know, kicked off a compliment. And I actually, she started laughing and actually said, you're a little bit like that. You're, you're, you're Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. You're a cartoon character. I love your laugh. It's ridiculous. Uh, and I very quickly got, got into that sort of a vibe. And it's so in interesting, isn't it? How when the vibe is with you, you can get away with anything. When it's not, you might as well just pack your bags and go home. But in this instance, it was just absolutely, it, it was kind of, mini fireworks almost in the off but what was interesting was he was just then like putty in my hands and I actually then sat down on the stool and said do you mind if I just sit down for a couple of minutes oh no 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 she said and uh, of course the Mickey Mouse gag led me to touch I said your ears huge and that's when she started to let me touch her um, and she was laughing and I sat down I put my I actually put my arm around her she actually went like that and put her head in, into my shoulder um, and I think this is the power of challenging and teasing. Challenging and teasing. Because really, ultimately, it can be very demoralizing for a guy if he goes out to the streets uh, again and again and again and again and again. He's, he's, you know, he's got the must, he's, put, he's got, put his balls on the line, he's getting out there, and he's actually making his approaches, and he thinks he's running through the clockwork version of whatever. The, the correct London day game model method approach to, to you know, to, 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 um, uh, to getting dates with hot girls, getting telephone numbers. And, but he probably is quite possibly just actually not generating a very good vibe and he's not challenging and teasing. And what's so interesting is when the vibe and the spirit, when the force is within you, then you just feel it bubbling up and you feel that you can really say almost anything, but because the vibe is right, it kind of doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Now, obviously we'd like to bottle this, wouldn't we? And we'd write a big book about it and I could flog it to you and you could pay $7.99 on Amazon and buy my book, which, and obviously I'm gonna market it. Like I have the solution, I have the seven steps to day game heaven, to getting a girl gagging for it after the first 90 seconds of the approach. You're gonna buy that, aren't you? I should write that book, yeah? Don't be a mug, don't buy that book, yeah? Because you can't bottle this, it's like bottling lightning, isn't it? Bottling lightning, being in the vibe, being in the right frame of mind, having that flow. All right, so you think, depressed, oh fuck, Alex Forrest has told me that there's no books out there, there's no special formula. Even just watching his vlogs and perhaps some of the magic will rub off. No, even that doesn't work. Perhaps I should get some coaching, you know. Uh, look, I'm gonna give you two bits of advice because I am a bastion of day game. I should just sort of actually sort of celebrate my successes in this area. Uh, a guy commented recently and I, he said I'd be speaking to Tom Terrell at a function. He said that Alex was a bastion of day game. And I was like, really? You never really believe it in yourself, do you? But when I was out this afternoon, I was just thinking, yeah, I just, you know, go in there, even with a couple of girls sitting at the table, happy to go, happy to go in there. Um, so look, listen up, because this is priceless. This is priceless, all right? Okay, so what's the solution? Because you've got this problem of bottled lightning and you don't know what, you know, you, you would like to create it and you'd like to manufacture it. Okay, obviously, 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 the first no is watching a load of videos, reading a load of books, uh, having a load of coaching. 
Those are all cool things. They're fun. They help enthuse. Reading books is fantastic because it helps to inspire and to enthuse you. So I mean, they are important because you'll go nuts, I think, unless you uh, read books, watch videos, or just have a beer with a few buddies and talk about stuff. It's really, really important. Okay, but that's a bit like, you know, after the battle, the debrief, isn't it? You know, a debrief is extremely important or the preparation for the battle. But it's not enough. Okay, so here is the, uh, the prescription. Here's, here is the medicine, because it is a little bit like medicine. Okay, at first, it's medicine that tastes sour, but over time, it starts to taste sweet. This is the irony, this is the par paradox, the universal paradox, the philosophy of practical living. The medicine tastes sour at first. And so, the temptation is, isn't it, not to keep taking the medicine, yeah? Don't like getting hurt. I don't like bashing my head against a brick wall and going nowhere, except getting a, dent a dented head. So, uh, that's the first thing you need to understand. You've, you've got to go to, you know, the field hospital and take your medicine. And, uh, you know, what is the medicine, okay? Because, you know, just, I've illustrated the story at the beginning of this vlog, that medicine that I've been taking five, four or five years ago is now sweet, such that I, I can go into and really enjoy a real sexual connection with a girl in the street. She happens to be a Ukrainian student, I think, or, and she's, uh, she's, uh, she's flying back tomorrow evening, so I've got much time, but we've been texting pretty well. In fact, she initiated the texting after we'd exchanged numbers, half an hour after the interaction. And, and she's a sweet spot. She's absolutely sweetie. She's not kind of super hot that I feel kind of intimidated or something like that. She's not ugly. She's just proper, you know, ape material. She's younger. She's not, you know, she's, you know what I'm talking about when you meet a girl like that and you think it's just right for you, yeah? Um, anyway, so uh, back to what the medicine is. Having described, you know, the sweetness of day game ultimately once you've taken the medicine. All right, so uh, what is the medicine? The medicine is being regular, being routine and being self-disciplined. That is the real mark of a man, because nothing in life is achieved without discipline. Simply nothing. You know, a potter who makes pots, he gets in every morning and he gets to his potter's wheel and he does some work and then he has his lunch break, and goes for a walk, has a cigarette, has an argument with his wife in the evening, but he's always, uh, he's always at his, his potter's wheel. You know, uh, any career, any description you can think of, uh, a lawyer, you know, he, he, he's, he's fastidious and uh, he works routine, in a routine and in a regular way and, and over time he builds his skills. If you're developing muscles as a weightlifter, let's say, you're not going to get uh, bar five in six months, a year, 18 months. It's going to take you five years to make real proper progress and really integrate it into your life and get that confidence and then that sweetness that comes out of, out of, out of having mastered the skill. So, you know, watch a million movies. They've all got this sequence in the movie where the, the kid becomes a master. And of course, that's the point of the movie when the movie has to sort of like truncate for the five years of skills development into, into five minute sequence. And they do it by quick cutting, just time lapses, don't they? And they have a, a scene where he's hopeless and then a scene where he's kind of getting the hang of it. And then a scene when, ah, oh, it all clicks and all comes into place. That's a five year process. I know we live in a wonderful world of, you know, um, immediacy and uh, delivery on demand but where the development of skills is concerned is it is old-fashioned it's like crafting a sword it's like being a samurai it's like being an artist or a sculpture it's these skills are required over a long period of time so that's the first thing that and that's medicine at first it's medicine because you don't you know you oh, can't be bothered um, the point is not to the point is just to get into the workshop and get in front of the potter's wheel and to do a little bit of work. Just, it's just the regularity that's important. And uh, with day game, that is the tonic. Because when you are 
are consistently disciplined in that way, when you are routinely, and you can set a routine that suits your own day, it doesn't have to be onerous, it can be two or three times a week for an hour and a half or less, or just whilst you're going into the office you say, I'll make three approaches during the rush hour. It, it, but it has to be regular. It can't be massive bursts, in, in my view, if you want this, this amazing uh, sweetness. Uh, let's call it for want of, for, for want of um, a better metaphor. Anyway, that's the the first the, the first thing, just get, 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 getting the routine in place. But come back to the sports analogies. You know, sportsmen talk about um, winning tournaments. People like particularly golf, being lucky. You know, because getting a golf ball and getting in a hole, you kind of think, well, that's sort of a lucky thing. But of course, the master golfers was it Gary Player who said, you know, the 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 uh, the more success. <laughs> Uh, the more success I have, the better I get at my skills, the more luckier I seem to get. In other words, luck is just a misunderstanding of most people out there in the world who aren't prepared to apply themselves. Now this is the second thing, I said there were two things. The second thing, uh, um, and, and you know what, just get the routine in place and don't be onerous. Just find a, a structure that works for you. Um, a time that works to you, but just as, as long as you're doing it. Uh, so the second thing to say is that if you, once you've got that, obviously you then need to, you've got a, a foundation, but that's not the whole building. You then need to uh, uh, actually actively practice. And that means when you are, and this won't happen, you know, every time you go out, but just, a, you know, once or twice, you've got to start applying yourself to, you know, the skill. Like, I've been struggling this week with, I've made a, been out a, a couple of times, been at rush out, it's been a bit clunky, it's been difficult, I've kind of got the, got rejected off the bat and it's been hard work and I haven't actually been sort of generating uh, much attraction. But I watched a Todd Valentine uh, video and he talked about uh, the, the three sort of reasons that the girl will sleep with you. Um, um, the one was, um, you know, spinning a good story. One was that she feels that you are sort of a, a higher status such that she gains in status by having sex with you. She gains in status by having sex with you. All right. Now, I have today when I went out because I'd had a couple of difficult days and perhaps I hadn't really been applying myself and putting in the practice. Today when I went out, I, I was thinking about this Todd. Valentine vlog and I thought yeah you've got to kind of play a little bit that uh, you are higher status now one very simple way of doing that in the streets and this is something I did whilst out with Buddy this afternoon was going up really quite quickly and spontaneously the minute I saw a girl and just saying excuse me can I just say something very quickly I, I'm sorry I'm with a mate I, I won't be long you know but I just had to say I think you look really nice and create this sort of energy and you can do it at the beginning of an approach by sort of saying, look, can I just say quickly, I'm just with a mate, but I, I, we, we saw you walk by and I just had to come back and tell you, I think you look really nice. What I noticed about you was dot, 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 dot. Uh, you've got this crazy pattern on your handbag, it's sort of like, bing, it stands out a mile. It's like some crazy Moroccan thing. It's just, bizarre sort of Sanskrit you've spent the evenings embroidering into the material you don't have a cat do you you don't have five cats do you you see how that observation then takes you into a challenging and teasing frame of mind but you've set the point is you've set up at the very beginning a sort of a sense of higher value and that can be chick crack and I pursued that technique throughout the rest of the afternoon until I ended up with this super super hot Ukrainian girl uh, it, it, by that point I was on a roll and I was you know I was able to challenge and tease almost off the bat with very little introduction I did nevertheless still stand uh, sit down because she was sat down and just said to get her to get her in my eye line you know you look like Mickey Mouse and, and all of that stuff. I'm still putting a bit of a, a time constraint. Can I just say something very quickly? Um, I, you know, I, just with my mate. Do you see how that creates a sort of a, a time constraint energy, which you can then bounce off? Because you're kind of like forever, 
you're about to leave and that's the vibe that you create in your body language and in, in the way you say things and that's the the bottled lightning uh, and the, so the bottled lightning to conclude comes about as a result of two things okay number one routine discipline disciplines are tough old words isn't it uh, but uh, you've got to integrate this into your life on a reasonably regular basis just like in any other skill art craft sport pursuit career don't kid yourself just you know don't get onto the field of play if you're not prepared to put in uh, to create something into your life I've in previous vlogs I've pointed out that that doesn't mean a load of time it really is inessential. It may mean some time and some energy at the beginning, but over time, it, you've just got to keep the airplane in the air. It's already up there. And you don't have to work so hard once you're at cruising altitude, okay? You don't have to, but you don't have to put full throttle on the engines. In fact, that will probably be unhelpful. And I've talked about in previous vlogs how in the autumn of last year, I was looking at a natural approach frame of mind whereas for a couple of months I approached 100 girls just as I was going about my day to day that was really sweet I mean really high quality interactions during the course of my day to day whether at 8 o'clock with a cup of coffee and a cigarette with a girl who was just doing her work on a laptop a computer on a train platform uh, you know at a bus stop outside my front door of my flat etc 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 once you've basically got the routine in place and you've got this in place once you've actually started to actually apply the skills just sort of taking one particular sticking point perhaps one little issue or challenge that you're experiencing right now uh, then you can stop be taking medicine and you can start be drinking the sweet nectar of the day game gods the sweet nectar of the day game gods okay i will just say um one final thing is that it, it you know at the beginning of this vlog i said that you know, it's not enough to read and watch vlogs, uh, etc. But, I, you know, I do think that is important because you're going to have problems along the way and difficulties along the way. And I think reading books, watching videos, talking with buddies, having coaching can all help to unlock, you know, those difficulties and just smooth or basically oil the wheels of your skill. Um, otherwise, the engine can seize and you can, you can see guys who are into women and dating and they've just got stuck with it and they're like robots, they're like automatons. So, uh, uh, you know, unlike some other PUAs, I think you should continue to peruse and enjoy and digest skill, just as, you know, just as anyone is allowed to do, it, it, providing they're practicing the skill, to, you know, to enrich their, not, their, not, their knowledge around that skill. Okay, now that's something of a departure from what I was wanting to do, which was a sort of a, a question 10. I was wanting this vlog to be an, a, an ultimate, you know, bookend vlog that would ni neatly wrap up the previous nine vlogs in this ten-part series. But ultimately, I just thought I've actually said it all in the first nine, and better to end with uh, a little bit of a high, I guess, in, in terms of, of day game, and then actually also to start moving towards in the in the direction of someone who actually. Uh, has learnt some stuff, uh, definitely learnt stuff about how to approach girls and get numbers and get dates. So so stay tuned because I think I'm probably going to just uh, talk a little bit more, perhaps, you know, actually, what's the word, a actually coach and counsel and use this YouTube channel to give you some nuggets of, of gold, some nuggets of knowledge as far as women in dating is concerned in the street and on the dates. and. Um, uh, you know, so so you know, to do stay tuned. I will always, 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 always be embedding that knowledge in my own stories, my own situation, and drawing real, uh, practical knowledge out of experience in the field of play, which is where we all need to be, where you need to be, where I need to be. It's a tonic for uh, madness, and it's uh, and it and it means that you can sit in a empty restaurant on Valentine's evening. Uh, kind of without a care in the world because yeah uh, I've got I've got a date tomorrow for example and I've got actually got a date with this cranium bird it looks like it's, it's going to happen at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon so who gives a fuck about Valentine's one more thing before you before you press
pause or you jump on to the next thing or you get back to your cereal or get back to your to your work at the office one more thing I have just released 52 first dates uh, volume 1 part 1 to 6 I would be extraordinarily grateful to you guys if you could get hold of it and if you would like to then subsequently leave a review i'm going to make this book available for free to anybody who's watched these vlogs who's on this channel my loyal supporters and who emails me at alex at streetstories.co.uk alex at streetstories.co.uk email me and i will send you a, a free copy of volume one of 52 first dates and I invite and encourage you to leave a review because um, the only way for me to sell books on Amazon is by means of reviews. Group reviews are critically important. So if you can help, keep me going, keep the channel going, uh, get a little bit of beer money for me, I would be extremely grateful. Okay guys, that's the end of the 10 part series. Uh, I look forward to vlogging to you in the near future. I'm now going to go back to talking about the dates and the approaches and telling the stories of the dates and the approaches and then drawing out the nuggets of golden knowledge that I've learned from them that hopefully you too can learn from. That's all for, t uh, that's all for tonight. Happy Valentine's. Bye. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll just take a little bit of the video. Thanks. It's just...